okay uh, welcome everyone uh, basically today i am going to speak about insulin resistance that is the topic of today now if the complete human evolution if i it is around 65 million or whatever 60 650 lakh or 6 lakh 50 it's a very huge period when the human uh, evolved what we are today industrial revolution about 100 under under uh, to uh, or around 200 years back some part of industrial revolution started we can still uh, imagine the magnitude of it about 60 years ago 60 70 years ago green revolution in india started we can still uh, imagine the time but if i say okay 65 million years ago the human evolved you we are unable to comprehend so what i will do is the complete evolution i will reduce it to let's say 100 i reduce that to 100 evolution time industrial revolution happened 10 days ago green revolution happened a nanosecond ago now what happened with the industrial revolution the uh, workers started going to factories they were not no more in the villages the moment they reached there and with that the world war 1 2 which happened about 10 days ago if i convert them into the 100 day period 100 100 number after that when the uh, green revolution uh, that is the growing up of the grains primarily rice and wheat started after the milk revolution the milk has started in the last 50 to 70 years what has happened is we are eating too much of carbohydrates too much of carbohydrate we got uh, if you just pay attention to what has happened in last 50 years is you have uh, a shelf life uh, wheat flour for 9 months which is which is in and the whole wheat is not more than a month similarly rice each rice has got a has been polished even the flour uh, the uh, wheat flour comes as if maida all your lachha paratas uh, chole bhature bread cakes pastries everything has changed the food has changed food has not is no more a whole food a whole food is a balanced food in itself so in the in the in the bargain what has happened is we are feeding too much carbohydrate to our body now when you feed if the moment you get up early in the morning at let's say 5 o'clock you pick up a cup of tea with one spoon of sugar you send a message to your body that i am about to eat something the body accordingly releases insulin to controls the sugar in the blood this happens with the first cup of tea now after about a gap of one or two hours your breakfast is ready what is our breakfast cereals muesli uh, toast uh, bread omelet everything is processed everything is coming with label with a barcode have you seen a mango on a tree with a barcode no that is whole food so but everything whenever it is coming in a barcode it has got more refined sugar additives the, the preservatives and this when eaten again the message goes to the pancreas insulin insulin is again released come lunch time you want to have your favorite burger or you just want to eat your bhujia or you will pick up a packet of namkeen or your favorite cookies with your tea or coffee again your insulin spikes up this again release release of insulin in the blood in the blood now similarly lunch mid evening snacks dinner every time you put anything in your mouth your body signals for release of insulin to control the blood sugar now if you remember tomorrow uh, yesterday uh, yeah yesterday i gave you four or five polls wherein i was trying to tell you a relative who came once in 10 years you looked after him then he started coming every month you again look after him coming every fortnight now what changes did you do when he came for one day 
in a gap of 10 years, you just placed a stool or something in his uh, room so that he could place his air ba- uh, airbag or some duffel bag which he was carrying. And next day he was gone. Now when he came and when he stayed there with you, every month he was coming for more period, what you did? You, you emptied some of your shelves which were there in the room to make give him a room so that in a week or 10 days he can place his clothes in those uh, uh, those cupboard or storage space or you, you probably provided more set of toiletries in his bathroom. Now what happens? If he's staying there for more than 15 days, you will have to give him a complete cupboard. You will have to give him a complete set of new set of bed sheets, towels, hand towels, everything. You'll have to do up everything. I'm not even not talking of the feeling now. I'm telling what you all have to do. Your, your food, you will have to make prepare food for him uh, or her. And I come back to the name I gave, I told him he is Panda. Now, I had also mentioned this Panda is in Sulin. The body was supposed to produce 50 to 60 grams of insulin. In 15 years of bad lifestyle, all this processed food, milk, protein, what you have done is we are producing three to five liters of insulin. The cells have become resistant to insulin. So now what, what will the insulin do? Insulin will start stocking the uh, glucose in your organs. If it is, it, it starts, okay, it find okay, the, the, the kidney are working very fun, function, uh, efficiently. The kidneys were functioning very efficiently. So body said, okay, kidney pe, I can put some uh, deposits on the kidney. Then he said, okay, pancreas. Okay, I can put something. The pancreas also can take on something. Okay, stomach lining. Okay, put, put some fats here. Okay, the intestine, uh, intestines. Okay, put some glucose there in the form of the uh, fat. Okay, uh, this chap is totally say, having a sedentary lifestyle pumping too much glucose into his body. Okay, put something in his uh, reproductive organ. Now, the heart is a major, major organ. Okay, what you do, put a condensed form of the whole sugar into his heart, like a calcium deposit. Then he comes onto the liver, the stomach, your, all the organs he start placing. Now, what did you do when Panda came for one day? Simply place the stool. Now, you had to make space you remove your things from the from the room to give him space where did you stack these things you put it under your bed you put it in the balcony you put it on the terrace what is this balcony terrace and under the bed stomach intestine kidney heart liver pancreas you put that extra item which you removed from that room and you put it in a place and it took a uh, gradually you placed them it, you didn't do a one day hard work first time he came you just probably removed one of the beds there was extra bed or extra um, uh, sitting arrangement you removed that to the terrace the next day you removed something else after 15 20 days when he came for a longer time you removed a carpet or the cupboard you cleared you put it somewhere else in the house because you wanted to give your relative a complete new house now come back to insulin what is insulin doing insulin is doing the same thing insulin has to now put the uh, take out the glucose from the sugar uh, from the uh, bloodstream so your arteries are getting thickening up your heart has got a deposit your veins and other the nervous uh, complete system has has got thicker walls the, 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 the you have slowed down and what is the period that this you will come to know all tests will be normal this deposit will keep on going you will only come to know after 10 to 15 years in the 10 to 15 years these deposits have already happened you start feeling rest uh, fatigue you can't sleep you, you you have uh, uh, you you feel thirst again and again 
after 15 years you go to a doctor and you will be lucky if your blood test shows you diabetic if your blood sugars are still normal your your your, your uh, insulin you are still insulin sensitive and diabetes will not be seen now what will happen either your kidneys are function, functioning at 60% heart functioning at probably 40% stomach the functioning has come come down there probably some acidity some chronic pain some acid reflux intestine there is a leak in the intestine which you will not come to know you will be fortunate if it is diabetic because immediately your attention goes that i am diabetic okay cut out the sugar let me start exercising let me start having metformin other medicines now diabetic medicine are only two types one is blood thinner one is to increase insulin production from pancreas you were already stuffing the uh, the body with lot of carbohydrate the insulin level was going up imagine the medicine of metformin or any other thing what will it do produce more insulin more more deposition and when it reaches a, where about let's say alarming level that the time you find your belly fat comes up you every time uh, there is a simple everyone wants to just get away from belly fat they may become lean thin but the belly fat is not going because belly fat is the last resort of insulin to store carbohydrate or the glucose and it is in the most intense form most intense form so now what has happened is all your organs are covered with the uh, excess of carbohydrate the excess of glucose the insulin the initially it was supposed to be 60 grams it went up to 1 liter 2 liter 3 liter and alarming level of 4 or 5 liter depends on the our body's system it depends from individual to individual now what has happened there is a situation where you become diabetic and he has put on the belly fat also now belly fat or your upper body fat is covering your heart covering your intestine covering your stomach covering your spleen pancreas liver which the organs have already got covered and with the belly fat and the upper body fat it is again covered your efficiency of heart gone down 10 percent your liver pancreas again 10 10 percent and now if you if you keep eating carbohydrates or probably you have still not gone for the uh, any blood test the excess of glucose in your blood has not been detected and you continue with your sedentary lifestyle now what will happen now is the stage which part of your body gives up if it's kidney you have kidney failure if it is the guts you have the gerd hematitis and other associated with the elementary canal if your stomach gives up if the, the there is then then you have the stomach ulcers if it is the uh, pancreas pancreas deposit if it is liver it is fatty liver now few years ago a fatty liver was always associated with alcohol india there was never a issue because uh, uh, the vegetarian diet which was there people thought that it is mostly connected with the liquor and the meat but in a country like india now non fatty uh, non fatty uh, liver cases have gone up why because we were supposed to produce only 60 to 70 grams of insulin and how much we are producing we are producing 3 to 4 liters now body alarm system has woken up there is a sos call from the body and the evolutionary period starts wherein the cells are made insensitive so that insulin can no more do the deposits this evolution has again started and if I compare it to the complete evolution, again it is a nanosecond, this evolution in the body. Now, 
the body has found some equilibrium nothing has got detected if you are 50 and above this started in the last 25 years and if people above 50 years have children from 20 to 30 years of age the condition that a sedentary lifestyle and eating carbohydrate without thinking what a 55 year old for a man or woman is experiencing their children are already experiencing it from 25 to 35 years of age that is the reason why you hear something like are yaar wo kal gaya tha marathon daudne fit tha koi itni tha sab kuch badhiya bp normal ye normal and he died of heart attack now what has happened there is no test there is no test or probably uh, they may be in usa or america wherein they can ah yes there is a nuclear uh, they inject some nuclear isotope and they then take a mri wherein this calcium deposit in your heart is detected which i probably i am not aware whether it is in india or not now this other tests which are available like the uh, those uh, stress test and the wherein they make you run on the uh, treadmill and then your heart heart and other things are Uh, uh parameters are checked they will come very okay why because those parameters will only be shown that your artery is blocked when it is more than 70% if it is 65% it will not show it will show you fit so stress test and other treadmill test are of no use what you got to listen uh, understand is if you got belly fat which is the last resort of the insulin to deposit and in a candery condensed form if you have belly fat be assured that you have been eating lot of carbs now i come back to panda because if i took you to a misery i have to give you solution also so now panda all of a sudden this relative who came to your house and took a house next to your house a uh, distant uh, relative died and all of a sudden he realized that he is the owner of 100 acres of land in let's say kanpur or somewhere in himachal someone left a a will wherein he inherited 100 acres of land and he had to leave your house or your col- colony or society wherever he was staying and he went to look up take take over those 100 acres of land uh, after few days and your happiness you were happy the who was troubling you every day and it has become a pain has finally left now we have to leave a similar action will have to be done for insulin now when does insulin get secreted when you put anything in your mouth so you will say okay if i don't put anything in my mouth oh wow that's a very simple but is it possible no it is not possible because you have to eat something and uh, i think someone uh, yeah ma'am you had mentioned cancer now what is this cancer now supposing this build up is taking place you have a belly the belly fat your all organs are covered and there happens a breach of let's say intestine there the there a bad gut bacteria or something reaches which is eating into your small intestine why it is doing it i have already explained in last uh, sunday the gut bacteria imagine the moment the leak is there that person that that bad bacteria is very happy because the moment it breaks it what will he find outside glucose deposit that is the food for that and that is the start of cancer who deposited that glu- uh, the glucose there we by eating again again now if there is a kidney rupture or kidney malfunction the moment that bacteria moves out what is there again glucose similar thing with your stomach lining similar thing with pancreas similar thing with liver so you basically by eating so much of carb 
my rate, what you have done is you made a nuclear bomb of yourself. You have put glucose everywhere because of eating too much. It should be only in the bloodstream. But if you had you stayed in bloodstream, you probably would have got an attack 15, 20 years ago. But you had insulin to save you. So insulin is not bad. Insulin intolerance or resistance is bad. Now, how do you make, how do you come back to normal? You have to get a will for this insulin, you know, like that panda who got a will of 100 acres, he, he left your society. And that will will come when you control your feeding time. The signal from the body is going to the pancreas the moment you take a bite. We have been eating uh, mindlessly. And in the bargain, what has happened? We have done an overload of glucose in our body. Now, don't just go for a fast. First, identify what is the time that you take first bite. Anything that you eat other than water is the first bite. Let's say 7 o'clock in the morning. Now, anything other than water you eat, the last thing of the day is your last bite. Note this two timing. No, take a note of these two timings. The goal is if you are very, very sick, like a cancer patient, you've got to get to reduce this to six hours in six months or one year with your comfort. I am not doing, telling you to do it immediately. The feeding time has to be reduced as per the severity of your problem. I am not even telling you that you continue doing that. You do it for five days in a week. Now let's say your first bite is at 7 and your last bite is at 10 o'clock in the night. So that becomes 17, uh, 7, 7 plus 5, 5 plus 10, 15 hours of feeding time. Now, if you reduce 5 minutes daily, I'm not saying you reduce half an hour, 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour. Just reduce it by 5 minutes daily. That is, if you are having the first cup of tea, coffee at 7 o'clock and last dinner at 10 o'clock, you start reducing it by just five minutes. And don't take drastic step, just five minutes. It was 10, 955, 50, 45, and reduce this period to first come to a comfortable level of 12 hours, wherein your feeding time is 12 hours. And gradually compress this feeding time. Now, what you have done by compressing the feeding time, let's say, uh, you have composed it to compress it to 12 hours. At least 12 hours the body is resting. There is no insulin secretion. The insulin secretion will not be there. Now gradually when you increase the fasting time, decrease the feeding time, let's say you come to 6 hours. What have you done? Now that panda after 15 years, when he visits you, you will look after him in the similar manner that you looked after him in the first place. Am I right? So, the moment you reduce carbohydrates, reduce the feeding time, you are reducing the pressure on the pancreas to release insulin and your insulin resistance will become insulin sensitivity. This, when it occurs, the first fat to vanish is belly fat. And what happens when you do fasting? The first thing that happens is your bad bacteria, like, like say, okay, you have come uh, to a level of, uh, let's say, three days of 12 hours. Or below that. And you reach a certain level wherein you can keep 24 hours of fast. So your, the gut bacteria 
their bad bacterial life is from few hours to two days. So when you are fasting for let's say 16 hours, 18 hours you have reached, you have killed the bad bacteria. The second thing that happens is there is a something known as ketogenesis. Ketones are produced. Your growth hormones are produced. Now, these growth hormones are the same growth hormones which we the body was producing at the time when, uh, when we were three months old. Because the body had to grow. In this, there's a, in this growth hormone, there is a stem cells production which is formed in the bone marrow. Because, you see, you stopped eating. You are fasting. Your insulin has come down. What have you signaled to the body? A famine. Akal aane wala hai. Body has gone into SOS mode. The moment body has gone into SOS mode, it produces stem cells. Now stem cells are organ specific. They will prepare a stem cell for heart. If there is a calcium deposit in heart, he, the, the bone marrow will produce, let's say you have intestine cancer, it will produce cells with the capability to repair intestine. A area specific stem cell formation happens when you fast. And the cleaning starts. Ketones are there. Ketones. Now ketones are formed when the body has to rely. Because you are not eating. Body has, wants energy. The ketones are produced when body has to burn. Has to convert fat into the energy. These ketones will the, the, the normal glucose breakdown if it gives you two units of energy, a fat, same similar molecule, molecule when it breaks down by the breaking down by the body, gives you 36 units of energy. Now, this 36 of units of energy will be utilized when you're fasting. The stem cells will be produced which will be area specific if you have kidney problem they will be they will be sent to kidney only to repair kidney heart problem heart this formation of uh, growth hormone stem cells occur in bone marrow only when you fast and you give a signal to the body ki bhai akal aa gaya This one should try it out. If you uh, do a fasting of 24 hours, the psychology is, I, 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 no, you'll sleep better. You will sleep so better that you would, you would, you will, you will realize that uh, you haven't slept such beautifully for last years because of the glucose deposits in the deposits in your body. The Fasting produces melatonin, which induces sleep during sleep time. Now, the fasting has given the alarm. There's a famine, akal, marne wale hai. Now, body says, okay, I have to save this body. Okay, now, your all sense organ sensitivity will go up. You will see better, hear better. Smell better, taste better, touch will better. Your experience of all your sense organs will increase. Because if you have to catch a bird, like the evolution stage, if you had to catch a chicken or hunt a bird or run away from a tiger, you had to have a good sense uh, of your sense organs. You could hear, you one could, uh, one should have been able to hear. Uh, the, vo uh, the voices or the uh, sound of particular animal. So since it is a famine period, your body will increase the sensitivity of your all organs. Even if you have cataract. Now what is cataract? Why, why, why uh, the body has deposited that fat on your eyes? Because he realized you are not exercising your eyes. You are just sitting on the bed looking at your TV or your mobile or your laptop, you don't require to see very far. So he says, okay, now this 
extra glucose, I'll put something in the, some of the glucose in the eye also. Because of the higher uh, glucose level in the body. The insulin response will tremendously improve. Why? Because Panda has come after four years, after he left your society. You, you become very sensitive to him. You, he's no more a, a person who is troubling you. This relative is not troubling you. He's as lovable, uh, lovable as he was when he came for the first visit. So the insulin sensitivity has gone up. You will probably produce less and the amount of work that you will do you that you will do will be more now imagine a situation you are not eating you are not uh, you, uh, you you are not eating anything your your ketones are functioning and in this meantime you do a physical exercise let's say uh, you go to the stairs, you go for a walk, when you're fasting. The body has immediately gone into a state where you're not eating, you're not providing, body is producing ketones, everything, but you are still exercising a condition like you were in a jungle and you all of a sudden come in front of a tiger or a lion. You have to run. If you have to run, the body has to now accordingly give you energy. Now this sudden requirement of energy for when you exercise out in any fast is the one which is basically breaking down from essential. Like if you are doing aerobic, so it will break down from your heart because you the body wants your heart to function well. So any deposit in the heart will be broken down first. Let's say you are doing um, crunches or sit-ups or any muscular exercise during fasting. That means the body has to build up muscles. So if the body has to build up muscles, if there is some glucose stored anywhere in the muscles, it will be broken down. Any fat anywhere, it will be broken down. You will be provided with the energy. You are doing breathing exercise. Like you're doing pranayam, or probably you are sprinting. Your lungs and heart both is a requirement of the body. The body will start cleaning your heart and the lungs. So fasting alone is good, but fasting with exercise, particular exercise, like if you have a asthmatic, you should do pranayam with fasting. Your automatically requirement of heart goes up. The heart. The, 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 the sorry the lungs goes up the lung deposits will be clean first it will be given priority now this is not one day pranayam one day fast i'm talking of i'm talking of a prolonged period or let's say you're doing sit-ups sit-ups your belly fat in any case is will be the first one to be broken down if you fast. now the sensitivity has gone up the physical exercise with it will add to the now uh, uh, that is why we the, the we have completed one month in the group i would like to close down because i think we have gone past 3 uh, 330 because the topic is such that some people will not be able to watch more than half an hour so i i, I actually want to shut down uh, my part and i am now open to questions any question you want you can ask me because if you understand this that why deposits are there in your body, why are you growing fat, why your heart beat has gone up, why your uh, uh, BP has gone up, why diabetes happen? If you realize this, I think you will become the doctor. You will stop feeding the body, stop dumping extra carbohydrate, become more insulin sensitive. There is another aspect which I don't want to because again it will take about 15-20 minutes. In a nutshell, I will tell you when this particular thing increases a lot, when you have not been detected diabetes, there is an evolution wherein the body starts 
uh, sticking glucose with protein and start storing it. It's known as AGED. I'll not even use the full form now here. The problem, the problem that occurs is that if now there is a cancer cell and goes to this deposit, that cancer cell is a win-win situation because it has got protein also, it has got glucose also. A nice environment. You must have seen wherever there is a cancer, it keeps growing. Why? Because the insulin sensitivity of the body has not increased. We, are ins we have become insulin resistant. And mind you, I am not talking of the Indian population. I am telling you 90% of the world is insulin resistant today. Diabetes, you detect diabetes in 15 years of insulin resistant, you have a stroke or a kidney failure in 20, 20 to 25 years of continuous insulin resistance. I have finished. I will take questions now. Um, so can I just go? So it was an amazing session and the way you explained it, um, it made all the more sense. Uh, so can you refer good books? Because, you know, uh, what we learned from you is definitely a good starter here. And I have myself been practicing it. I can vouch that belly fat does happens only when we are having food at irregular times uh, very often. Uh, so if you can refer some good books and... Uh, and also, you know, like, uh, now right now the session is over, but I would like to hear more. So hopefully you'll cover the topic next week also in continuation. My next topic, basic, my best, next topic basically will be uh, uh, in a, to fasting in a graduated manner. Because today is basically I have given you why you should fast. You have got enough reason today yes. you have to fast. Now, how yes, to do it in a graduated manner will be my next uh, uh, session. Next Sunday, I will start that how you should start. And if you recollect, one month ago, I firstly started with cutting of the sugar. Yes, sir. Cutting of the sugar. Then I came to MRP, milk, refined product, and uh, uh, peas processed food. Yes, sir. MRP, which I have been telling again and again. So basically, yes. my aim is to first get you to 12 hours feeding time. Yes. If you come to a 12 hours feeding time, from 12 hours, I, we will graduate to, let's say, 10 hours by the by next Purnima. Yesterday was a Purnima. Next Purnima, yes, my aim is that your feeding time has to come down to 10 hours. If you come down to 10 hours, that means you are fasting to 14 hours. So the aim, aim next month will be to, uh, in a graduated manner, uh, we will come down to 14 hours fasting. So, uh, if I may ask, uh, is there any, uh, thank you, is there any uh, specific diet? like what to eat and what not to eat in those 12 hours or 8 hours or 6 hours like you know because that counts a lot what you're eating so yeah. some uh, because our itna influx of information hai on the youtube people really get confused about it whether to eat raw food steamed vegetables steamed sprouts or to eat what not to eat millets you know all such things you know have a gehu with lots of fiber in it, you know, all such things. So, could you kindly uh, put light on it? Okay, ma'am. I'll just ask you one simple question. I have, I have explained to you there is a spike of glucose when you eat. Right. What would you What would you like to do now? Reduce the mm -hmm. eating period only. Like if I am eating four times, I'll try to reduce to three, then two. Basically, at least two times till I don't fast uh, much. Reduce the time and reduce the eating time. Like twice or thrice, you know. Look, you have answered Yeah, but what to eat? Like, uh, uh, just say eat, eat anything. Or... Eat, ma'am, eat anything. I can, I can actually give you some very big news today. And that is eat anything. Eat grass-fed meat. Eat organic chicken, eat organic eggs, uh, milk, grass-fed milk. 
anything reduce the feeding time reduce so the like, feeding time. so like if you take suppose if i take green matcha tea in the morning so that will count one feed ma'am i'll again give you the definition of first bite and last bite you have anything except water is a first bite you have tea coffee smoothie green juice any juice any fruit first thing in the morning that you have the time that you have is your first bite similarly without water you know with not taking water into consideration the last bite that you have of the day and that time is the last bite time the time between the first bite and the last bite has to be 12 hours for this month i am to doing more than 4 or 15 hours like uh... no issue ma'am we will take everyone along we will take yes. everyone along of course if you are do if you are doing for uh, if your feeding time is 10 hours if we reducing it from 12 to 10 you should reduce no, it from 15 hours to 15 to 16 hours good ma'am good we we will we will we will reach 6 hours and can you tell me with my energy level what is the last meal i had <laughs> maybe you have a 6 hours gap only whatever you had like you must have had at 6 uh, o'clock last time last meal morning 6 o'clock no no evening last evening so since morning dab pani nariyal pani or something like that only water man only water i am on only water i am on once in a me once one day meal type uh, and today is the third day and you can see my energy level i had one installment of sleep i came late yesterday uh, saturday i was out playing tambola in the dsi we had um, bbn akela had a good dinner also had a dry chai bhi gaya dhabe pe raat ko 12 baje soya hu 5:30 baje utha hu ek installment mein subah utha hu pani piya hai 2 ghante gaiti belcha chalaya hai 12 se 2 baje tak बाहर धूप में पसीना निकाला है क्या चलाया सॉरी बाहर एक देयर वाज अ देयर इज अ ड्राई पैच ऑफ लैंड व्हिच इज बैरन आई एम कन्वर्टिंग दैट इनटू अ गार्डन व्हिच इज नेक्स्ट टू माय प्लॉट नेक्स्ट टू माय होम सो आई वाज यूजिंग स्पेड एंड पिकएक्सेस फॉर 2 आवर्स जस्ट टू स्वेट एंड आई विल शो यू दैट गार्डन आफ्टर अ मंथ Sure, sir. After that, I had a bath, and I'm sitting in front of you. I and I, I probably when I came, I had two glasses of water. So and I, I will not. I, I will not. Sorry, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Pardon, ma'am. I would like to ask a question. You had yeah, yeah go about, go. You had spoken about. Am I mute? Oh, just one second. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I. Uh, can you hear me yeah all right um we were speaking about uh, fasting and then production of ketones which then subsequently develop into stem cells and the stem cells have the knack or the quality of being able to zoom in to that particular part of the anatomy where the trouble is could you please tell us a little more about it okay uh so Uh, i will start like this i'll i'll give you in uh, next about 5 10 minutes i'll tell you how if i had can i would start i would get my feeding window to 12 hours yes okay then gradually get it down to 8 hours in a month then get it down to 6 6 hours with one meal a day and probably i'll take 3 months after 3 months the first week i will miss one day meal that means i was having one meal a day if i miss one meal and stay on water next day morning is 36 hours mm -hmm. i will have breakfast i will have breakfast after 36 hours then next day i will again skip the breakfast lunch and have dinner so it is another 36 hours mm -hmm. once i have had dinner next day again i will miss one meal so i will do 36 hours like this in a week reach a stage wherein 
I can have increased this period 36 to 48 hours. Once I've done that, skip a meal, skip every day, everything and have meal after two days. Once I've done that, I will gradually upgrade myself to three days of water fast. Stay on water for three days. I may take six months, but if I stay on water for three days, what will happen is it will be a total famine condition for the body. The body will come to know that we are going through a rough period. Body wants to survive. Not you who want to survive. The body wants to survive. Body wants to survive. Then is the stem cell formation in the bone marrow will happen. These stem cells will be area specific. When I say area specific, the organ specific. They will reach kidney. If kidney is, 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 is uh, uh, not functioning, it will reach heart. It will reach in a cancer case wherever the cancer is developing. Right. Well, I am 87 years of age and I have been practicing intermittent fasting 16 or 15 hours for the last two and a half years. I also observe twice in a month Ekadashi, which I, I don't do 36 hours yet, but, but I do complete 24 uh, hours. And my diet, I was a non-vegetarian all my life. I have given up uh, meat, fish, eggs I still take once in a while, but I think I will stop it also. And lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of water, I try to do, I cannot walk too much, but I try to do two kilometers per day. And I have been uh, diagnosed with, which was a shock to me. Last year, I went through the entire process of treatment, which has proved to be unsuccessful. And five days ago, I learned about recurrence. So I'm very keen. I may be 87, but I have a lot of rest for life. And I'm keen to practice what will help this body to behave. Ma'am, except for the hairs, you look like 57. <laughs> yeah, people have said that. Congratulations, ma'am, and and, uh, and you will hit a century. Oh, well, I, hitting a century or not is not the point. To live well, to feel josh for life, joy of life is more important. I live alone. Absolutely. I have no family in India. I have my son in America with his family. But I'm, that doesn't bother me at all because thanks to Zoom and FaceTime, etc., we're in touch all the time. Sure, ma'am. Sure. You are an inspiration, ma'am. No, no, but I, I, I wish to learn from you. I know that I can do much better. Like I've never tried Nidjala fast at all. Ma'am, Nirjala is just too good. I don't advise anyone. I have done it for 24 hours. It's just too good. Yeah, well, I'll but start. What you do is you remain on water fast and then increase the time between two sips, uh, two, two glasses of water. And gradually you will. And the uh, best thing is uh, remove the dining table from the house because that is the one which is giving you hunger pangs always. Remove what from the house? Dining table. <laughs> oh, the dining table. Agreed. No, no, I'm I'm never been a glutton at all in my whole life. I weigh fifty kilograms. I, I don't think I'm overweight. Um, but I, this is the reality which I'm facing. Okay, ma'am. Just to add one more thing to you, you probably will get uh, a bit more uh, uh, information from this. We have heard. Okay. Uh, this chap smokes, this chap drinks uh, and uh, he's got nothing and uh, his son uh, he was, uh, or, or his friend was a teetotaler, non-drinker, exercise, regular and he expired. So people sometimes say, okay, let me start smoking. No. What has happened? When the carbohydrate and everything intake was increased, body realized that he's a smoker. If I put deposits in his lungs, he'll die early. If I put if, if I put deposit on the liver, he's already drinking. Right. Well, I neither if I put, smoke, I neither if I put, smoke, nor I drink. But uh, no, no. What I'm trying to bring out is that never ever uh, listen to such people. Arey, yar, mera kuch nahi. 
पता है मैं सिगरेट पीता हूँ दारू पीता हूँ कुछ नहीं चलता रहता है नो दॉडी सेव यू बाई नो नॉट डिपोजिटिंग दो फैट्स ऑन योर लंग्स ऑलरेडी डैमेज लंग्स ऑलरेडी डैमेज हार्ट already damaged liver right it has it has still put somewhere else yeah. it has still placed those fat somewhere else right so you got to now you got to decide what has happened with you where all what all organ i have already abused you getting my point so whatever wrong has happened is happened right is the time not to clear exactly that 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 is exactly why i am here and following your program sure ma'am <clears throat> so i am a jani and so we follow all this fasting routine quite a lot and uh, like they do in the period 8 8 uh, uh, 8 days one month they do all this fastings and if they take santhara then it is eating nothing at all and one of my mommy took this and she was to uh, she did for two months and she revived it and she was so perfectly healthy she didn't santhara means she not to eat water or drink water or anything and she revived from it so this is condition is called as autophagy of what i understand what you yeah, are you like ma'am ma I, i i can actually bombard you with lot many other jumbo words but i'm not let's keep it simple we'll not talk of autophagy we'll keep it simple because there are people uh, of a different information we'll not go into the technical term that why i seldom use any technical term yes uh, in escapable like ketone and stem cells i had to use them other i'll not even use them so let keep it to the normal yeah ma'am they say ki langhanam is param aushadham it it means the same like fasting you say increase the period of fasting if you have any okay. ailment yeah fasting now fasting one simple thing i had posted uh, an update uh, 10 uh, 14th of february lent fasting has started next month Uh, there is a thirty-day Rosa starting. April month there is a nine-day Navratra starting. Uh, have you ever thought about it? Why all the religions are professing uh, fasting? Uh, why? Now just go back to an age where there was no religion. Let's say okay, there was one person who became Jesus. They made a story, and that okay, he went and then and then he came up. Okay, before that you have to do penance. Forty days, forty days Lent fasting. Before Good Friday. Now again, there was a moment. He was in the deserts. He realized that they they were there. They were mainly non-vegetarians. For a non-vegetarian to clear all the toxins from the body, it is necessary to go for thirty days fasting. Again, a story was built up. Okay, this will happen. This will happen. This will happen. And a story came up where he comes up and he wrote in the scriptures that thirty days Rosa fasting. Now, uh, since I am a Hindu, I I can dwell upon more. I am no more uh, telling you what religion to follow or anything. There is nothing against any religion, nor the way I am professing. Now I will tell you about Hindu religion. Twice a year, Nav uh, Navratri fasting. Ekadasi fasting every fifteen days. Uh, Friday Santoshi Ma, Monday Shankar Bhagwan, Mangalvar Hanuman Ji. गुरुवार गणेश जी थर्सडे गुरु जी फ्राइडे फ्राइडे संतोषी मां सैटरडे शनि भगवान व्हाई 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 हैव दे डन दैट दे दे रियलाइज दिस इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फास्टिंग व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे बेसिकली द रिवॉल्यूशन स्टार्टेड व्हेन वी वर हंटर्स एंड आई ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड दिस वी एज हंटर्स वी वी नेवर हैड अ रेफ्रिजरेटर सो इफ इफ द There was a kill, and the statistically, what it has come up from the archaeology, the first kill a hunter got was in twenty-two days. In twenty-two days, got his first kill. Whatever the kill, first kill he got was eaten by the whole tribe in one single day, and whatever was left was left for the the, the, the vultures and other animals, and he moved ahead. Now he'll get the next kill for next. Uh, he'll after twenty-two days. So what will he get? He, he moves around. He finds a, a berries. He finds a apple. He finds bananas going, uh, being go, going up in the wild. He picks up those. For next twenty-two days, he's just on whole plant-based diet. And then he again gets a kill. 
So this fasting and eating was a normal thing of the part of our evolution. With the abundance, city development, with our work routine, with our sedentary lifestyle, with the number of remotes that you have now. There was just one single remote about 15 years ago. Now you have, I, I don't want to name them. You don't even want to move. So the sedentary lifestyle coupled with the carbohydrate intake has actually uh, responsible for insulin resistance in the body. Yeah, next question, please. Yeah, anyone? Next question. In today's topic, if you have any question. Uh, sir, uh, very nice session, sir. I just want to know ki if we are taking cumin water or ajwain water or soft water, we count it in water, na? No, ma'am. No. Plain water. Plain water will not signal anything because it is zero calories. There is nothing in it. It will not give a signal to insulin. You take anything besides plain water, it's giving a signal to the pancreas for release of insulin. It means if we are uh, like straining it also, then also it gives signal to pancreas to release That's insulin. Absolutely, ma'am. And they, 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 this is a super fine computer. Even if you think about it, the signal is gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So it's a matlab, it means sometimes we take dalchini water and everything is counting. Okay, everything is gone. Okay, thank I you, can, sir. I, like, 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 if I, if I was like, I mentioned, if I was a dietitian, you're paying me for that, I would have made your life comfortable. Okay, don't count the uh, dalchini, tea, coffee, just the food aspect. Now, what happens? You know what happens? You will start. Eating more, <laughs> drinking more of ajwain water, more of dalchini water, okay. more of everything. You yes. will become more, more uh, comfortable. So don't go for any dietitian. Don't go for GM diet, food diet, keto diet, fat diet, ye diet, wo diet. They all are bad. Our aim has to become insulin sensitive. We have to love the panda again. Mm -hmm. We have. We have we have become the, now now look at the last poll. I I, I I to tell you frankly, I knew the out, outcome of the poll. That panda has become a hatred. We are hating him. No, we don't have to hate that relative. He is lovable. We have to just become sensitive. Okay, him. sir. So so we are saying ki we just have to take uh, narial water or, or plain water. Ma'am, you or narial water. I can have only water. Only water. Okay, sir. I thought we can have less water. Coconut water. Okay. Man, Thank you, sir. Only Thank water. You. Have, or pani jodre, <laughs> I, I thought I can include it, but thanks thanks for this uh, nein, insight. Nein. I I will never. You haven't paid me. I will not fool you. Okay, sir. Okay. <laughs> sir, I have one question. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for the session. Really informative. I'm sorry if I missed. Maybe you covered it. I missed it. My just one question. Let's say if I get up at 5.30 and I'm planning a 12-hour fasting to begin with. So, after 5.30, uh, should I immediately consume something? And what should be that ideal thing uh, that should be consumed to break that fast in the morning? Like, usually I drink, uh, let's say, two glasses of water. So, after that... I take a green smoothie with banana and, you know, some lettuce. Time, time. Okay. Now you tell me the time. Besides water, what is the time of your first bite and last bite? So, right now, obviously, I'm not doing a fasting. So, I'm post your session. If I plan to start, let's say, uh, I have my smoothie at 7 o'clock and then I try and uh, do a 12 hour, start with a 12 hour fasting. So, does a smoothie work fine as the first thing in, in the morning is my question. Or would you recommend something else? No, ma'am. Dago. Abhi kya hai ki you are mixing up whole thing. For the last yeah. one month, I've been telling Pani, water, 40 minutes before lunch, two hours after lunch, meals basically. Ha, ha, ha. Water should be sipped, not gulped down. Yeah. That okay. I know. Ha. Then I'm telling not to eat 
processed food refined oil refined sugar refined that also I'm, yeah yeah that i noted these, these are these are included shift to whole plant based by recognize the thing in your plate if there is a rust can you recognize the wheat in it no so it should not be in your plate I'm That's not asking about rust. Sorry, I think you didn't get my question. My question was that if I am doing a plant-based diet and everything, what is the first thing ideally I should eat when I'm breaking my fast in the morning? Anything, anything. If today you have heard heard me, I think I said anything. You eat anything, but in twelve-hour period. Yeah. Okay. You will get the answer because now what is your feeding time? Our feeding time is 18 to 19 hours. If you calculate it. Yeah. That is where we have gone wrong. We have been sending signals every two hours. There are dietitians. They, they've been recommending eat every two hours. Now imagine what is happening every two hours. We're probably ending up five or six liters of insulin. Yeah. Requirement Thanks. is only this much. You are producing that much. So anything in anything gone wrong in the body in the last 50 years is insulin resistant. And the worst part is the damage cannot be quantified. There are no tests. How much the gut is leaking, how much the stomach uh, uh, walls are uh, ruptured, how much... Uh, Calcium deposits there in your heart. How much liver? You can okay. You have you can see fatty liver, but how much? Which stage? How, how much more it can take? Or how much? When is the SOS call? Pancreas, spleen, and this quantification comes after fifteen years, ten to fifteen years of abuse of the body in the form of diabetes. The first thing is happening. And I'm saying you will be unfortunate. You'll be fortunate if it is diabetes. And if diabetes is not picked up after 15 years of abuse, then it's a very alarming situation. You are happy. Your triglycerides are normal. Um, you are healthy. Healthy cholesterol, LDL, everything is normal. You should thank your body that it has kept everything normal. But have you not abused your body by eating 16 to 18 hours in a day? Think about it. If you have cut down, get down to 12, come down to 6, in a matter of one year, I'm not saying you start feeding the time today. Whatever is your feeding time, 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours, 15 hours, 16 hours, just start with 5 minutes daily. Reduce the feeding time by just 5 minutes daily. You will experience the comfort level your sleep level, your energy level. What about okay. the medicines? Uh, what about the medicines people have to take because of their uh, diseases? Like, is that also included or like, uh, because of that, they have to eat, like, you know, have something. Ma'am, ma ma I got it. My one disclaimer, I am, I am sharing my experience. I know. Now, if, if on this channel, I say, okay, you are fasting, reduce this medicine. Someone has to be there who has to continuously check your readings, your medication, and then advise. No, I I'm not saying that. about reducing the medicines. I am saying about is that also counted as a feed? Is that counted as a feed? Like you are eating something. So does that oh. also spike insulin? Oh, you will never take medicine without food. It is either before meals or after meals. So it is included in the meals. Okay. But uh, I will never advise for detection of your medicine. Please no, no, check no. your blood sugar regularly. Every person is unique. I have told you in the last Sunday. Every person's gut is unique. You will be surprised to know. In, in California, uh, there is a uh, hospital who get... Uh, College students who are very healthy and take their fecal capsules and give it to a person who is obese to build up that same gut, gut bacteria in his gut. Now, if there is a person who is underweight, they pick up the fecal uh, capsule 
spoonful of an obese person and give it to the person who is lean and thin. So this is the level of US doing it. The unnatural and uh, way of the, I don't know what, what, yeah. what level the research has gone. But these research is going on. You can build it naturally. Yeah. So my question is also similar. For example, I take thyroid medication, but I have to take it very early in the morning and that has to be without food. So that, that should be that should be okay, right? That should not be counted. Okay. The medicine, whatever you take, will not spike your insulin to the level of a toast, a burger or a pizza. Correct, correct. Aim is, aim is not to start releasing uh, insulin at the go. And medicine will never release your insulin. Don't worry. Yes, I understand. And sir, you've been asking a question on the group that we started uh, uh, the group and how much weight have you lost. So I have to confess something that I did very well. I had lost weight. I told you last time I'd stopped sugar. I'd started millets. But then what happened? I had to go for a wedding for three days. I went for this wedding and obviously there are no millets and you end up eating a lot of sugar. You end up eating a lot of, you know, it was a like we had to go to a destination wedding. There was breakfast, there was lunch, there was dinner with high tea, with, um, you know, with all sorts of things. And so after three days, I think I came back with more weight than what I had lost. So I want to understand, like, you know, uh, obviously we are, we are social people, <laughs> we go out. And so how do we maintain this, um, uh, the kind of structure? I'll give you a simple thing. Yes. Three day window. Yeah. You, you want to enjoy the dinner. Yeah. Don't have anything since morning. Your window automatically comes down. Your window has to be, let's say, six hours. Shadi art. Sir, <laughs> there's a bahaldi, there's a mendi, there's oh. a this, and you're eating so all then the I, I, I would say, 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 I I would say, I I I I would say, I I I would say, I I would say, I I would say, I I I I hit the chart first. Yeah. And finish off with the chart. And then I start with the dessert. I don't eat food. <laughs> yeah. Correct. But I maintain that feeding thing, feeding window. Okay. Yeah. Next question. I uh, sir, sir one chart. thing more. So you yeah. uh, talk about ketone production and when there is a ketone production, fat breakdown to give 36 units of energy. Can you make yeah. it more clear to me, sir? Okay. Uh, there is... Uh, you're not eating something. You're not eating in the fasting. Yeah. At the same time, body requires energy. A simple... Yeah. Glucose, glucose breakdown will give you two units of energy, let's say. Mm. When you break down a fat, 36 units of energy are produced. And this produce, this energy which is produced is in the form of ketones. And the process is known as ketogenesis. Okay, sir. Ketogenesis. Now, how will you come to know when you are fasting that the ketogenesis has started? Okay. You, you will a simple, there is a strip, uh, normal strip which is available, which you uh, which you can carry from in the over the counter, and which will measure the ketones in your urine. So okay, this is those, that is keto. You have strip. Those, yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, you probably will get at uh, someone uh, with you know, probably imported ones. You will have to pay a lot. Okay. You will come to know when the ketogenesis has started. So let's say uh, you are on a sixteen hour. Uh, Fasting. Fasting. Okay. And you uh, measure, okay, it has started on the second 16 hours. Okay. Like 16 hours you did, and then you uh, uh, you broke the fast, and then next 16 hours. So two continuous or two alternate or only second uh, 36 hours or 16 hours in a uh, in a week. Ketogenesis okay. will generally start with 16 hours of fasting. Okay. It will start. In a week. Uh, Ma'am, it will depend from body to body. Uh, body to body. Okay. It, it is it for for person uh, who is more fit. Probably 
think uh, it will take more time. A person who was sick, who probably start early, wherein uh, the body has to now decide, okay, breaking down fat or the available glucose in the bloodstream. Okay, all the, if you're fasting, all the available bloodstream uh, glucose uh, uh, has done the job, probably the ketones, uh, ketones, ketones will not be made. Ketogenesis okay. will not occur. I'm sounding very, very doctor like, okay. Now, ketogenesis and ketones. <laughs> now, what happens is these ketones, when they produce energy, and at the same time, let's say you start brisk walking. Okay. And when you start brisk walking, this signal now, which goes to the body, is famine. Okay. No eating, energy reduced. <laughs> He, the person is running. That means the lungs have to be made efficient. Okay. Lung specific stem cell produced in bone marrow is traverses from your bone marrow to the lung and the lung toxins are cleared. Okay, sir. Bilkul. This, will no, not happen. this will not happen if you are sitting down. This will okay. only happen when you're fasting, ketogenesis has started and you exercise. And okay, sir. you tell the body, this is the time you will realize that you are not the body, you are not the mind. You are someone controlling the body and the mind, which, which I think was, I, I was supposed to speak on this probably after uh, two months. But this is the time, if you fast, this is the first time that you realize I am the one who is controlling the body. I am the one who is controlling the mind. Mind is telling me to eat. But no, I have to be insulin sensitive. So you control the mind. The moment you tell the body in fasting, you start exercising, you are controlling the body. And all of a sudden you realize, oh, I am not the body. I am not the mind. Not the mind. I am the oh. Wow, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, okay, you, this is how the things will, uh, the stem cells will be produced. Okay, back. Any yeah, other questions? Sir. Now things are clear. Okay, thank you, sir. Thumbs up from Kabir, ma'am, actually is giving me a lot of energy. Yeah, any other question? Sir, one more thing, like uh, six hours of window, in that, uh, like, uh, uh, how many times one can eat? Twice? Ma'am, eat as much as you want. No, but uh, once or twice or thrice? Any time. Any, any time. Any time. Like, chalte chalte oh, chocolate oh. Khaliya, ya, uh, chikki khali. <laughs> Aap, mujhe, you have come to know, understood the fact that what will happen if you eat bread, chocolate, sugar. So will you eat that? I have already said no sugar, no refined uh, product, no processed food, no diet coke or any coke. Any coke. We have been uh, inhaling oxygen, removing carbon dioxide. People have been putting that in their irritated drinks and you are drinking it. Yeah. Think about it. So, you, I just said, eat healthy, whatever you want. And that is why I say, eat millets. Each millet has got 9 to 12 percent of fiber. If you start eating that, you are helping the body. You're telling the body, okay, clean. That's your cleanser. That is your uh, food for your uh, good bacteria. Yeah, any other question? Uh, sir, I have a question. Like I shared that I'm having a fever and infection. So, like, should I be on a eight hour window or a twelve hour window right these days or normally? There's a break. There's a break in your uh, 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 speech, ma'am. Uh, like I am having a fever with stomach infection. So, should I still follow like these days also? Should I be following that 12 hour or an 8 hour window of eating? Ma'am, are you working? No, sir. Fantastic. 
कल सोमवार है पूरे घर को बता दीजिए आपने शंकर भगवान का व्रत रखना है आई एम टेलिंग यू डोंट ईट एनीथिंग टिल टिल वन ओ क्लॉक गिव मी अर वॉलेट वन ओ क्लॉक इफ यू योर एसिडिटी वुड वुड बी गॉन योर एवरीथिंग विल वैनिश डोंट ईट और ड्रिंक एनीथिंग टिल वन ओ क्लॉक वॉट इज एसिडिटी आई ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू नो एसिड इज द प्राइम रीजन वाई स्टमक इज एबल टू डाइजेस्ट Now what what the doctors give us anti acid now they they reduce this acid now the moment the uh, acid is reduced by anti acid <coughs> body will produce more acid what you have to do is you have to stop putting too much of food or frequent food in your body if you start your breakfast by 12 every day in next one week your stomach problem is solved what will happen your body will get time your insulin levels will not go up your insulin sensitivity will come down your body will get time to repair the inner walls don't take any medication for acidity or acid reflux what will happen what will happen is you are trying to stop the acid production the acid production is directly proportional to the food that you are eating body has already calculated it you have seen the plate is it taken the measure body doesn't have want a way or anything to judge what your uh, food uh, plate contains it has already ready, uh, released that acid now you take a anti acid body is falling short of acid it will release more acid and that is the time acid reflux or your stomach starts paining this is the reason don't eat early morning give a clear break of 6 to 8 hours to your body keep drinking water little nothing will go up drinking water with add a layer of sodium bicarbonate inside your stomach by just drinking water for the first 8 hours of the morning the sodium bicarbonate is the first layer which is the protection against the acid which is there in the body now this layer is not like this it is in a in a in a, in a circular fashion like this the, uh, if you go and google search the stomach wall you'll find uh, like a, a, a cylinders or or a projection from the stomach so if there are two projections from a stomach this sodium bicarbonate is inside this two stomach uh, two projections and here by sodium carbonate the whenever the acid is coming here it is neutralized and thus this wall here is safe in the stomach and this happens if you have been drinking water 40 minutes before meal if you drink water 40 minutes before meal this protective layer is developed in the body you eat something acid is released the digestion take place the lighter the food the faster the digestion and it is washed off a uh, empty stomach is a better situation than a filled stomach i think i have answered most of the queries uh, ma'am yeah sir uh, but now like uh, since i am on medication so like how to go for that ma'am whatever is your medication a doctor will advise you i will not advise you because uh, i haven't uh, i first i am not qualified and yes if some if you would have been uh, my neighbor i would have been advising you every Yeah, which I cannot at the moment. Thank you, you sir. Contact the doctor. Thank you, sir. Sir, I think uh, we had a lovely session today, and uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, we can actually uh, close down. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you okay. so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Very, very, very thank lovely. you. Beautiful. Thank sir. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.